I'm still kind of star or not starstruck. Um, surprised that I was able to kill that boss. He's not really hard. It's just as a uh, as a sorcerer, he's tough because there's just. I mean, there's just so many. I mean, I only had so many spells, and you saw how low I was. I was almost out of them all. Now it's time to make our way to the other boss. Okay. The other boss is up here. And... Actually, we can kill those guys in one hit now, so that's good. And across this platform and you just keep going and then you'll find the, the other boss there's another archer that's gonna be following me unless I take care of him right now so I'll just kill him real quick there is a door right here that you're gonna need a key to uh, we'll find the key on the pathway to the boss and there's actually an NPC inside this cage over there you can see him There's also a bonfire Oh god, I forgot about him. A broken thief sword. So I can kill the archers and the the guys with the dual swords in one hit, but I can't kill the guys with the clubs in one hit. At least that's not what it seems like. Or that is what it seems like, I mean. Oh, there's a chameleon I just missed, but whatever. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, the arch, I ran right into that. Wow. I ran right into that throw. That was pretty, pretty terrible on my part. That archer just fell, so. Okay, we did get him. Uh, the reason to come up here is really for that chameleon, but I missed him. Uh, there is another way to go. I should really go back to Majula because I do have so many souls. Hopefully there's a summon sign uh, over here. Not really because the boss is hard at all. But because uh, I don't want to die with so many souls on me. Here's the key that's gonna, uh, that, can, that lets you open that door or the gate or whatever for the guy. And for that bonfire. There is a... Yeah, there's a NPC that's going to invade you right here. Okay, she's not that bad. Merciless Rowanna. Not too bad. Okay, so that summon sign failed. 
Um, I wish there was another one around here, but it doesn't look like there is. Walls ahead. I really don't want to go against this boss by myself because we don't have like as in, that we don't have that many spells right now. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and homeward bone just to be safe. I know you're, a lot of you are probably thinking, "Well, you made your way down here. Why aren't you just gonna go against them?" And it's because I have forty th some thousand souls. I don't want to lose. So I'm gonna play it safe. And just go back to Majula, actually. I'm gonna travel to Majula. Okay, we'll level up a few times. Bearer of the curse. Seek so Seek lest this level up. Level up with two minutes to thirty, I guess, so we can get that six slot. And I think we'll level up our intelligence to We wanted to go to 35. Um, I think we'll put our faith to 10 and our intelligence to 33. Faith because there are going to be um, staves that I want to use later, but I'm not going to be able to use them unless I have enough faith. Do I, I wonder if I have any titanite chunks. If I have some titanite chunks, I don't. So never mind. If I had some titanite chunks, I'd be able to upgrade this catalyst again, but I don't, so... Forget that. We still don't even have enough to use Soul Spear. We do, however, have enough to put at least one Soul Arrow in here, but for now I'm gonna put it over here. So, Soul Arrow. I'm going to remove again so I can do this the way I want it. So soul arrow, great soul arrow. Great soul arrow. Heavy soul arrow. Great heavy soul arrow. And then, last but not least, soul spear barrage. Which isn't even that good, but we'll just keep it in there just in case we run out of spells and we need something. Okay, so we used our subline bone dust. Now we'll just go back to Huntsman's Cops and hopefully uh, go against this boss. And now that I don't have any souls to lose, really, um, I might just take him on like this without any. This boss isn't really that hard, but. Um there are many enemies in the room with him, I guess you would say. And that makes it a lot tougher than it usually is. I'm going to see if a summon sign does show up in the next, like, five seconds. If it does, we'll try to summon it. If not, then we'll just go without. I keep hearing them. You can tell when there is a summon sign in your area because you can hear it. it. Does that weird, uh, like ding sound? But I can't see it, so I'm just gonna not even bother. We should be able to kill these guys. Never mind. I was gonna say we should be able to kill these guys in one hit with Soul Arrow now, but I was wrong. Let's see. How much damage is this doing? This is doing a hundred and, or actually it's doing two hundred and seven. 
or 217, something like that. Um, damage, magic damage, that is. Okay, killed him in three hits. That's actually not bad at all. He's not really doing any damage to me, surprisingly. Didn't want to waste a great soul arrow just to kill him. So I just used the regular one. We will unlock this, uh, this cage or whatever, this gate, I guess. Over here, there's another guy shooting me with a bow. I always forget about this guy. But he'll chase you down unless you kill him, so that's the reason I always go back. Use the undead lock away key. And lift the bonfire. I think this guy actually might be an NPC that can help you with the boss fight. I'm not sure. Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. Now I can find him. The cheeky prick. He won't know what hit him. I am Creighton of Mira. I travel from land to land to hone my blade. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. I joined forces with a man on the way, but he was no more than a backstabbing knave. He took the first chance he had to try and offer me. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. I can't believe that I was so dense. Thank the stars that you came along. You be careful of him. Pate, I think he said. He wears this rather unusual ring. You know it when you see it. I've seen his type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure of it. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man's better off dead. I tell you. He's a slick talker. So don't let him fool ya. Okay then. Uh, so this guy's pretty much telling us that put him in here. But uh, Pate told us earlier, if you remember, Pate told us earlier that uh, he he did lock him in here, but that he tried to, uh, or no. He said that this guy tried to nab some loot for himself or something, and he got trapped in here. Pate. And don't you believe I'll find a common footbed. Okay. Pate. He does give you the fist pump gesture if you're trying to get um, all the gestures in the game. So we're just going to continue on. Oh god, I keep forgetting about this guy. Sir, please leave. I can't believe I keep forgetting about that guy. This guy can shoot an arrow so far. Okay, luckily we can take care of him pretty easily. I want to go up here and try to kill this chameleon. Okay, killed him. One hit. Damn it. Dude, please, back off. I'm just trying to kill a chameleon. You're just trying to ruin mine. My trophy. 
That guy has got the best aim, I swear. I walked right into that one again. He's like Robin Hood over here. Key ahead. We already got the key, so we don't have to worry about that. Although, I'm pretty sure the guys that are in their room with the key will chase you out if you pass it. We're going to kill them anyways. That actually killed him in one hit. I don't understand. It must have been a critical hit or something. I think I'm going to end it after I uh, after I kill this guy. I thought there might be a summon sign over here. I remember in the beta, there I could have swore there was a summon sign right there. For an NPC. But maybe I'm wrong. I am human, so I would see it if there is one. Oh well, we'll try to kill him by myself. Pretty sure every single time you kill one of these skeleton kings, it spawns some enemies. I'm not positive about that, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Nope, there they are. Yeah. Every time you kill one of the skeleton kings, it spawns these other little enemies that you have to kill as well. And one of them spawns pinwheels, if you remember from the first game what the pinwheel skeletons are. They're really annoying, so you might want to be careful with that. So I suggest trying to kill one of these guys at a time, and then killing the little skeletons. Oh, there's the pinwheels. Alright, these things suck really bad. I hate these things so much. These are probably the hardest enemies. So if you can take care of them first, I would suggest doing it. So that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Okay, I use a life gem, and he's gonna spawn these other enemies. What you don't want to do, and I, I learned this the hard way, is kill all of them at the same time. Kill all the big guys, and then they'll just spawn all of them at the same time. All these small little enemies and the pinwheels, and that can get really bad really quick. So I suggest not trying to do that. Okay. See, not too bad. The boss is not that bad at all, really. Um, but like I said, you just gotta be careful not to kill all three of them and have every single skeleton trying to attack you at the same time. Because that can lead to pretty bad news. There's another way out of here, if I can remember. It's over there. I see it. Over here is the way out to the next area.
Listen carefully, fine work. If you keep going, uh, there will be a bonfire ahead. Pretty close by, if I remember correctly. The bonfire is over here. But be careful, because this stuff will poison you. Okay. Anyways, um... Dirgy, thanks for stopping by, but I was actually about to end the stream. So, um, thanks anyways, man. Um, and thanks everybody else for uh, watching on YouTube. Um, if you want to, you can like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.